it's time for Zoo Talk with Clive Thompson. Hello and welcome to Zoo Talk. My name is Clive Thompson. Zoo Talk is the show that's all about people who love animals but are really afraid of them. And today my guest is Pat Hughes and he is a lion trainer over at the zoo. So let's check in with Pat. Thanks Clive. It's a pleasure to be here. Pat, I've always admired someone who can take care of something that would eat you if I had the chance to eat you, so may I shake your hand please? Well you may, but you see I'll have to shake with my left arm because <gasps> you don't have a right arm! Yes, as I was saying, I, I don't have a right arm. Wow, you mean to tell me that a lion bit your arm off? No, a lion did not bite my arm off. But lions eat people! In rare cases, yes, but I assure you that a lion did not... Don't lions eat meat? Yes, they do eat meat. And we're made of lion meat, right? Bart, a lion did not bite my arm off. I'm always very cautious when I work with lions, okay? You are? Lions are only likely to attack if you trigger their hunting instincts. I'm always very careful when I approach a lion. Plus, we have several training protocols that allow us to approach them when we're trying to feed them or when we're trying to give them medical exams and such. Trust me, we're very safe when we're with the lions. So you're like a doctor for the lions. Kind of. I mean, we use food and such to see their paws and their jaws and all kinds of parts of them to see if they're injured and see if they're healthy and stuff. You just got to be careful how you approach them is all. May I ask you a question, one-armed man? Well, my name's Pat, not one-armed man, but yes, you can ask me a question. That's what I'm here for. Well, let's say, just for kicks and giggles, that a man was thrown down into a pit with lions. Would they attack him? Yes, I think they would. Are you sure? Well, if a lion sees you stumble and fall, that's going to trigger their hunting instincts. You see, when something that looks injured and stumbling around, they're going to pounce on it. And bite your arm off? Yes, they could bite your arm off, but for the last time, they didn't bite my arm off. So how do you explain Daniel? Daniel? Oh, you mean Daniel of the Bible? He was thrown to the lion pits alive, and they didn't do anything to him, not even a nibble on his arm. That's what you call a miracle there, Clive. You see, God shut the mouth of those lions, and he protected his servant Daniel while he was down in the pit. Wow! Wow! A miracle. That's pretty cool. Thanks for joining us, Pat. That is my pleasure. And I'm sorry again for a lion biting your arm off. For the last time, a lion did not bite my arm off. It was a honey badger. A honey badger? Yeah, I'd rather not talk about it. Me either. This has been Clive Thompson for Zoo Talk. We'll see you next time. Ooh.